Hello, today we're going to talk about the strategy picture practice. Picture practice is a great strategy to build self regulation and it's super easy. Anyone could do it. So you start the strategy just by finding some kind of pictures that go along with maybe social conflict. It could be in magazines, books, or online. I found this picture on Google this morning. So you just show your child the picture of social conflict and start by asking them, how are the children feeling? This is really great because it helps them to look at people's facial features and expressions and try to guess how they're feeling. This is a really good skill to build empathy as well being able to recognize how other people feel. Then the second question is, what's the problem? And this is the beginning of problem solving, is when a child's able to identify what the problem is. Now, I don't know for sure what the problem is. Just like you, I'd have to kind of guess because I only have this one picture for context. But maybe your child would say they both want to turn with the bunny. That's fine. It doesn't really matter what problem they identify. The point is, is that they're looking at the situation and trying to figure out what the problem is. So let's say that's the problem. Your child says they both want to turn with the bunny. Perfect. So the third question then is, well, what could they do about it? This is the next step of problem solving. Your child might need some help with this, or maybe they're able to come up with ideas on their own, and that's great too. So asking your child what could they do about it, maybe your child would say they could take turns with the bunny. That's great, that's a great idea. You know, this gives us the opportunity to talk about how sometimes even great ideas don't work, and so we should come up with a plan B or a couple of other solutions so that we can choose the very best one. So your first idea was they sh could share the bunny. What are some other things they could do? Maybe your child would say they could go find another stuffed animal so they'd each have one, or they could set a timer, or maybe even they should get a grown up to help. Any of those solutions, all of those solutions are great ideas. And this gives us the opportunity to talk with our child about how there's often multiple ways to solve any problem. And so practicing this, looking at these pictures, talking through what is the problem, how are they feeling, what could they do about it, are all building their problem solving skills, which are gonna make them better able to resolve social conflicts as they happen in school and with other children. For more information about social emotional wellness, check out our YouTube videos on lots of different topics. Thanks for joining us.